Hey guys, it's Drew Geraci coming at you with another quick tutorial. This time we're going to talk a little bit about deflickering flicker footage um, coming from both time lapse and high speed footage. I want to thank Scott Selzman for allowing me to use some of his uh, footage. It actually uh, came in really handy. It's high speed flickered footage. Um, and then I'll be demonstrating some time lapse footage that we have here. So let's just jump right into it. Deflickering can be one of those things where it's a pain in the ass or it's just super easy. And I want to show you guys the super easy way to deflicker the scenes that you're shooting. Um, now, if you do shoot a lot of time lapse, you could be using LR time lapse. Uh, there's a plethora of other filters out there that do the same thing, but I want to say that uh, DaVinci Resolve probably has the best deflickering plugin um, across the board. It doesn't matter what you're using. So um, I'm going to show you guys a different, couple different methods on how to do that. But right now, we're looking at this time lapse clip right here. If I play this back, you can see there's blatant flicker. I purposely did this. I put the uh, metering on a spot that changed uh, exposure over time. That way it would create the flicker. Um, so I want to show you guys how we can easily remove that. Um, what I'm going to do is going to come down here to my effects panel. If we do an open FX, come down to uh, resolve revival and we click on the D flicker. I'm just going to click and drag this on top of it. This is the super easy method uh, and way to do that. Now if I come back up to my inspector and click on this, I should see an open FX tab. I'll click on that. And then for this, there's a bunch of different settings. We can do deflicker, fluorescent light, or advanced controls. Since we're doing time lapse, let's just go ahead and click the time lapse. It's really easy. Uh, that's it, guys. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. The flicker is now gone. If we play this back, you'll see that it's beautifully blended together. There's absolutely no flicker, and DaVinci Resolve just crushes it. It's that easy. Um, so again, just use the deflicker plugin. Now, if we do the same thing to the high-speed footage, if we come through here and play this back at real time, we can see that there's a distinctive pattern um, of flicker going on in the top right-hand corner, likely because there was a light source over in this area um, that was um, at a different frequency than the camera. So what we can do is uh, do the same method. I'm going to come over here and click on deflicker. Now, if we apply it natively right off the bat, we can see that it's pretty good. There's a little bit of... Uh, flicker right in the right hand corner so we want to make sure that this is 100% perfect right now it's at about 95% so we'll come back through here do the same thing we'll go to open FX and in this time we will come down and click on advanced controls and we're gonna open up all these different controls and the ones we want to go down to um, would actually be these right here click on better we want to do medium we can see the detail it's being restored we can see that there's no flicker in the top right hand corner now. If we play that back, it's absolutely removed. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. Um, when you do have different types of flicker, you will have to go into the advanced setting, um, but there's really just only a few things you have to change here. Um, obviously we didn't have to change a lot. We just had to click on um, just a few extra settings. Um, but just to show you what the before and after was, click that off. We can see that there's blatant flickering going on here. We add it back on the flicker has been 100% removed. So um, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please put them down below. Always happy to answer. And let me know what you'd like to talk about next. If you're having issues with any other problems with the time lapse or with video, let me know. Let's see if we can solve it. Um, and as always, um, please like and subscribe and happy shooting.